how to create a custom contact form for your Wix Studio. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step fully how to do so and add it to your site so people can actually go ahead and fill out this form for any different number of reasons. So let's just go ahead and get started right away and open up our Wix Studio site. So you can see this is Wix Studio. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Select Site and this should allow us to open up the dashboard. Now you can actually go ahead and do this from the dashboard itself, uh, but then you can also do, do it from the uh, site editor as well. Uh, both ways are going to work perfectly fine, but I'm going to actually do it from the editor. But if you want to do it from the uh, uh, dashboard, you are actually going to go ahead and go to the main dashboard, go to customers and leads, and then from customers and leads, go to forms and submissions. And then from here, you're going to be able to actually create the form from the top right. But then you're going to also go to the editor to add it and make sure it is fully designed and stuff. So either way, we're going to open up the editor regardless. So I'm just going to click on edit site. And this should open up the site editor for us. And once this loads in, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do next. Okay, so once the ed editor opens up, you basically just want to go to pages and obviously create the page where you want to add the form in. So most likely than not, you want to add a form for the contact page. Uh, so you can just go ahead and do add new page from the bottom. And I'm just going to add a default page, a blank page, click on add. And this should create it here for us, as you can see. And I'm just going to do test form instead of naming it a uh, contact form because I believe it does actually generate one for you which is already named contact form so I'm just going to do test form now once you have uh, you know you're actually in the page itself where you uh, can add the actual form you can feel free to design it first and whatnot but this is not our topic uh, in order to actually add your form you basically want to go to add elements from the top left you can feel free to add a container if you want, uh, so you can actually split it and add, for example, an image and stuff, or you can just simply add um, your form. So we can just go ahead and do that. I'm just going to add the form without having to add the container. So you can just go to contact and forms here. Click on contact and forms, and you want to simply click on create new form. Once you actually click on this, it's actually going to uh, open up the forms. If it's your first time, it's going to take a little bit of time. And then from here, you can feel free to adjust your form to your liking. I'm going to add a few things and show you exactly how it's going to work. So you're going to be in the edit tab and there is the also the preview settings and submissions, which you can obviously check later when people actually submit anything. So in the edit tab, you're going to be able to obviously add all the types of fields that you want. So we are just going to start with the default. So we can add first name. Just go ahead and click on it, or you can even drag and drop it, it's up to you. Last name, email, and from the contacts, I believe this is what we want to add, nothing else. Unless you actually want to go ahead and do that, uh, anything else, for example, phone, birthday, uh, company name, and so on. So you have all of these options that you can add in here. Now, let's just go ahead and start with the first name. What we can actually do with each individual form is going to be the following. We can actually go ahead and resize it. So we can actually go ahead and do this and resize it this way. And this allows us to place another one next to it, for, for example, if you want to. So for example, we can minimize both when it comes to size and drag and drop them right next to each other. And you can actually see we have both next to each other. So this is something that we can do. And like I said, you can feel free to increase the size for it or decrease the size for it as you wish. So with that, with that, you can also click on each individual form and change the form title. So this says first name. You can feel free to change it to say something else. And then you can also make sure that a field is whether it's required or not by simply just checking this. And if you want to add, to add a placeholder text, just check this and it's going to give you the option to add the placeholder text. So this is going to be for more difficult questions. Uh, and then you can also feel free to add a field description, which is going to be underneath. But I'm just going to actually uh, turn these off and make sure that this is a required field as it is the first name. And then you also have more advanced settings here, uh, like limit characters and, and whatnot, which I'm not going to touch on. 
Last name, I'm just going to keep it without the uh, required field. For email, obviously, it's going to be an email and required field. Uh, placeholder text in this case is going to be more like enter your email or just change it so it is more like, you know, uh, example at example.com. This way, people can actually know what to add in here. But again, I'm just going to turn this off because everybody knows what an email is anyway. Next, we can add more uh, form fields here. For example, if you go to general uh, on the left panel here, you can you can find general a short answer, uh, long answer, numbers, links, upload file, which I'm going to actually add. This way, you can actually have them upload an image, for example, and you can even limit the type of file that you want. For example, you want to change this so that, uh, let's say, let's just say ID, for example. And then the button text is upload file. Let's leave that as it is. And then the text uh, below the button is file into. And then we want to change the accepted file types so that it's only images. And then the file upload limit. Let's just do two because if it's an ID, we want to, uh, to have the front and back and make this a required field. So this is something that you can actually do. It's very simple and now people can upload the images and they actually have to if you make this a required field. Uh, obviously not ID, just any other image. I just, this is the first thing that popped into my head just to explain it. But you can again, just feel free to remove it if you want to. Uh, you can even add their signatures or star rating if you want to. So I'm just going to add this as an example. When it comes to choices, you can even add a multiple choice question and then we can also do more things like checkboxes, drop downs, and so on. We can also add dates as form fields, and we can uh, also add specific products that they can pick. So this way you can add uh, something like feedback and whatnot, and so on. You have a lot that you can feel free to add there. So once you are done with the form fields, you can just click on preview. Make sure you actually like how it goes, and then go to settings. Uh, and uh, in the settings, you can feel free to change the form name. So let's just do test form and then here we can also change how the required field looks like i'm just going to leave it as it is and then uh, you can change whether it's going to be before or after the uh, message and so on so you have a few things here that you can feel free to set up if you want to even set up the spam filter you would want to change the uh, recapture type and once you're done you can just click on save and you're good to go you can just go ahead and exit out of here and it's going to be added here for you automatically. Now, what's left for you to do is one thing, which is going to be adjusting how it looks like when it comes to the page and whatnot. So for example, to make this page a little better, uh, what we can do is just first add a section at the top here. And let's just add an image here to this section, uh, or we can even just change the background, both work, but I'm just going to add an image and then what we can also do once we added an image, we can also do something like a title uh, right on top of this image or right on top of the form. It doesn't really make a difference. So let's just go to add uh, elements. Let's just add text and add heading one and place it on top of the image. Do something like um, contact form, for example. Oops, sorry. Contact form, highlight this and change the position of it. Make sure it's in the middle. And then we also want it to uh, make it centralized and whatnot. So obviously you would want to uh, change stuff to it. For example, the color and so on. So I'm not going to do much here because again, this is just, uh, you know, samples or examples. So I'm just going to leave it how it is right now. Contact form. And then we have the form itself, which you can actually go in and click on. And once you click on it, you're going to be able to click on settings. Uh, from settings, you can feel free to change a lot of stuff. For example, uh, the forms here, you have the different forms. Obviously, you would want to pick the one that we just created. And then if we just go to layout, you can adjust the padding so you can increase or decrease it. Uh, so this is up to you. And when it comes to design, there is plenty that you can change. For example, the background of the actual form, you can feel free to change that. So it is this obnoxious color or we can actually do more something that looks a little bit better here. And obviously, it's going to work with uh, the rest of the stuff here. For example, the button and so on. So this is for the form background if you want to change that. But we can go to form fields and also change how it looks like, as you can see. 
and the state, whether it's going to be hover or whatever. So you have all of these options when it comes to design. Uh, you can just play around with the design however you like for the header and paragraph, the button colors and so on. All of these options are available for you to set up. Uh, you don't really want to play around with anything else. It should be good to go. If you just click out of here in preview, it should be fully functional where people can just fill out their info information as you can see and then we can add their email address and they can see whether the field is required or not and they also have the star rating in the multiple choice option and whatever form field that you actually added so this is pretty much all for this video hopefully you found it to be informative and helpful and thanks for watching